Hello and welcome back. The professional Rainbow Six Yapper is back at it again with part two of Zero talking about yapping about Zero because we're talking about Zero today. And uh, if you watch part one, you know that I'm not the biggest Zero fan. I'm a little particular about my Zero play. I just don't think he's this S tier, A tier op. I think he's he's solid operator at times, but most of the time I'm picking someone else. And there's reasons behind that if you watch part one. And part two, hopefully we can get some actual evidence as to uh, as to why I think the way I do about Zero. Now, we got Clubhouse, a map where I wouldn't choose Zero on most of the time, you know? I would pick him on Bank, which we just played in part one. If you want to watch that, if you didn't already, link in the description. Um, which, yeah, Zero is great on Bank. Did some of my, my finest Zero strats. It was a little sloppy, I can't lie. It's been a while since I played the guy. But uh, we're going to play him here on Clubhouse. And try our best to really, really harness the power of his uh, loadout, which is his hard breach tools, his zero camps, his gone six. And um, I think Clubhouse is a great example for this because Clubhouse is a map where hard breaching is very, very impactful. And I think especially for that CC take, like opening up the, the lower garage walls, getting some zero cams into garage, it could be a very effective strategy. And I want to see if that's true or not. I, I don't know. I, I do want to give him a fair chance. Uh, most of the time, I'm just, I'm just happier with other people who have the utility to make aggressive plays which i talked about quite a bit in uh part one so let's get into it we're gonna get rid of fenrir fenrir is so good man he's so annoying like just i just i just don't want to play against him like his traps are just full on like oh you hit a trap and now you're dead suck it like get him out of here i don't want to play against him we're on attack first very nice look the luck is in our favor today it just wants the zero gameplay maybe maybe the maybe it's a sign guys Maybe it's a sign that they, they want me to give Zero a chance. The best chance that I can give them. And maybe I'll be a full-on Zero lover after this game. I don't know. The compensator was nice. But if you watch the other part, I got a massive whiff with it at the end. So I might go to the Flash Hider. I don't know. Let me know what, if you know what the best barrel is on PC in the comments. I've been kind of... I'm, I'm, I can't figure it out, dude. I can't figure it out. Maybe I'll put the extended barrel on. But I feel like the recoil will be crazy at that point. Or I could just go to a one-time site, I guess. Now, they're going to be CC. Claymores are also good on uh, Clubhouse, but I, I'm going to try to utilize these Hard Breach tools. Um, I think they're a little bit stronger for this map just because Hard Breach, again, is so so impactful. Uh, plus, we already have two sets of Claymores, so we have the map for the main wall. I'm not going to Hard Breach the main wall. I don't think Hard Breach tools should be used for main breaches. It doesn't give you enough vision to actually see what you need to see, especially on the CC site. So I'm going to open up uh, a crouch hole bottom garage and an angle on top of here. That way I can look into rafters from here, but then I can actually get in through the other hole. I might go front door just to get a cam for lounge. That way I can check the lounge cam before I push into garage to make sure it's clear. So I actually think we could uh, utilize Zero's kit pretty good here if we, if we execute it right. There should be quite a bit of planning with him, I think, just because you have those four cams and you kind of have to use them in coordination with each other. Um... So yeah, I think I think maybe I haven't put enough effort into zero. I haven't given him the chance he deserves, perhaps. We will see. We'll see when it comes to the moment where I get pissed because I can't push anything on my own. Now, normally I drone first before I do this, but I think I'll be all right. Shoot a cam up in here. Get around the corner just so I don't get run out from my own breach. And my cam got shot instantly. Um, hey, oh my, I might be able to tuck one up here maybe, perhaps? Without him seeing it. And I got one Midas. A zombie actually didn't see me shoot this. So now I have the info. Which is a zombie and rafters. But I don't have... Oh my god, my teammate got thermite. I don't have the pushing power. So I gotta make sure this is clear before I push in. I don't want to get spotted by the garage cam, which I'm can tase with this. Two in rafters. Okay, one's right here. Looks like he's holding my breach. Two, two in rafters. Twitch is going crazy. Nice, got the trade off the Twitch. Okay, I'm not going to be able to push this. I'm going to rotate. I can come up red. Where's the other one at? Can you do on top red or no? Oh, that's unfortunate timing. Should have droned it. I had the time. Unfortunate. Too aggressive. Too aggressive. I definitely have to dial back my aggression by a massive factor in order to play zero. Because I'm just such naturally an aggressive player. Like, pushing up right there is so free if I have a flashbang. Throw one flash, instantly push, right? But with zero, it's like I got drone at first. If he is holding it, then what do I do? Well, I have to 
maybe push them. Like, I, there's not really any other options. I go rafters, I go red, or I go con. And by the time I rotate all the way to con, he's going to be holding the con door. So then I don't have the utility to actually push in from con either. Um, so it causes some complications oh, when you don't have that playmaking ability. Uh, um, might be cheating. But getting the info is, is a lot more yeah. important. Yeah. Wait, why do you say that? I don't think this guy's cheating. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely you definitely have to optimize your your info way more than you do with a regular op. Like with Yana, it's like a quick clone, get the info, use the utility, make the play. But with zero, it's like your info has to be pinpoint. They can't know that you have it. And then you have to make the play without them knowing that you're making the play onto them. So he is very you have to be very sneaky. It's it's a difficult thing. It's a very, very difficult thing. That doesn't mean he's bad, though. No, that just way, means termite, maybe uh, I'm not as good at him uh, as I need to be. So well, maybe we'll just practice. No, maybe yeah, I should just no, do a full-on no, zero stream. I play zero all day and right. see if I can really milk his milkers. His talent. Milk his talent <laughs> milkers he's the best that I can. Get every really drop good. of zero, you know? Just milking them. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't say right, that. Right. <laughs> Don't put that in the comments, dude. You know I didn't say that out loud. You know I didn't. You know that's not what happened. All right. Uh, so they're going to be basement. Harvey tools, again, great for basement. Can open up the hatches. Uh, we do have thermite. I think Hibon is probably better uh, because it's basement. Like the hatches. Again, the hatches are so good. Or ace even. Ace for the bottom main wall is great. You can go bottom main and ace open the wall. Very strong. Um, so, yeah, we'll go. What are we going to do with the cams, though? I want to open dirt. I do like the dirt push. But then again, my utility is not designed to push dirt because I don't have the flash. I don't have the smokes. I don't have the nades. No aggressive playmaking abilities. So maybe I should just set up for flanks, hold some flanks, like set up a cam stock, set up a cam main, hold the hold the flanks there, like, which is what I could do with two drones, though. So that's why it's like, that's why I'm kind of questioning why. What's the point of even playing zero at that point, right? I'll be careful. I did see a couple kitchen hall. You have located a bomb. Oh, drone in, drone in, watch out, one's there. Where? Here we go, almost on the left. Alright, there goes a cam. Hold on, let me join this shit up. Uh, one's in bathroom and one's in bar. My bad. If you can't go and rappel, I'm gonna open your door with my ass. Bar, 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 bar. The bar. Let's push the bar guy with the IQ. Oh. Kill the bar, the bar. Where he is? He's dead up there. He's dead. I'm gonna try to get one on the. Argus get a camp bar for the flank, I guess. Okay, we have a guy in bar, so I'll put one for main flank. I might be able to get the hatch. Actually, is there any Val cams in kitchen? I ain't fucking. I can open up dirt, just add some pressure, and then open so up kitchen hatch. Okay. One, one is, uh, That's going to run on main stairs on the first one step. Is I'm going to get main hatch. Uh, it's gated. Don't think I can get this, so I'll open up blue. Get an info for blue flank. I have cams on flank. Doesn't mean to watch them though. <laughs> this is why I would just prefer an, a nomad for the flank, because then you don't need teammates to actively watch, watch it. Fudo, watch out, right there. Okay, this might be a freebie. Uh, I don't have zero cam. What is there to watch out here, man? What is there? Okay. Wow, what a C4. Yeah, so Valkyrie's in this side, watch out. Kitchen. Is there actually one dirt still? Kitchen. Kitchen. I feel like yeah. he's lying. But bottom kitchen. The gun is so good though. The gun is so good. You don't need util when you got the best fucking gun in the game, I can't lie. I mean it's not the AK twelve, but it's solid. And I think I think I've confirmed whatever attachment I have on right here is the one I want. Um I man, I mean I am fragging out on the zero, I can't lie. I just feel so powerless on him, I guess. It's just I feel like this lack of ability to just get in there. Like right there, it came down to, I eventually had to just dry push a doorway. I had to push in a doorway with no util and hope that they didn't have a crossfire or rotate blue. And it, it's just really, I'm capitalizing off their, off their really, really bad mistakes rather than being able to capitalize off very small mistakes. So this is like a big mistake. Like they don't have a blue rotate. They can hold the cross, right? Whereas if they have the blue rotate, but I have like a flashbang, I can flash down through the rotate and drop off the flashbang. Sound cover, uh, it blinds them so they can't actively watch me as I'm dropping. 
Um, but here it's like, oh, I'm lucky that they're not watching it and that they don't have a rotate. So that allows me to like make this big play. So it's 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 preying on it's preying on the fact that they fuck up really bad, which is why I'm not the biggest fan. Now, if they're doing it in the highest rank in the game, they're gonna be doing it in every other rank. So does that mean he's actually really good because most people are really bad? Maybe you know may maybe. I just think there's a reason he's not played a lot in pro league, and I think that is the reason. They're gonna be down again. Uh, well, let's do the same kind of thing. Get some pressure. Open up some things if we can. Try to kill them all. Classic oh, move. Classic move. And I'm, I'm, I've been constantly surprised with how many kills I have on zero, just because it doesn't feel like I'm doing good. It doesn't feel like I'm control in control of what's happening. One is a hollow kitchen. Why it's a little concerning. But then it's like the gun is so good that I'm frying everyone, which is pretty nice. I can't lie. I'm gonna do a cam on the window here. Oh. Okay. Well, zero sucks if you suck. Fun fact. Okay, everybody's dead, so that's nice. Sight is clear. Yeah, Let's freaking go, dude. Sure. I'm gonna go to drone dirt real quick just so I don't die. Come down, dude. I just rush sight. Okay, dirt is good too. Coming, I'm coming. This one's got rush sight and it worked. Alright, that goes for the testament of zero. It was all me. That's the other thing too. He just takes a lot of time. No drop down. Still growing. Let's put a flank cam, guys. How about that? <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I got a zero drone. Or his goo mine. He dropped oil. Oh, what a shot. Dude, this gun is so sick. <laughs> I'm having so much fun, though. <laughs> like, it's just so fun using this gun, dude. <laughs> okay, I'm convinced, guys. I'm convinced. I'll play zero, okay? <laughs> uh, I still think... Dude, it's so sad, though. It's like, I still think everyone's just so much better than them. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of the sad reality. I mean, who knows? Maybe I need to give them some more time. Maybe I just need to give them some more time, guys, okay? I haven't lost faith. I'm a fair guy. I'm a fair guy. I'm an honest guy. I say what I think. And uh, if you can change my mind, I will accept that. I will accept I will accept what I believe to be true. And if that's that zero is actually really good, I will believe it. I just need I just need proof. I just need to see it. I need to know why. And I think that the why is what's missing for me. Like why why am I doing so good with zero? Is it just because of his gun? Right? Because it hasn't felt like the cameras have really given me any sort of extra power, if that makes sense. It feels like they're more just a waste of my fucking time. I'm playing mute. I don't know. I just, I, I don't even know why I went mute. I didn't even think about it, honestly. I just picked mute because he's good. Mute's really good. Yeah, we'll just get all these drones. Now, I would reinforce these walls, but... My mute trimmer is much more important to get down, and I still have three, and there's ten seconds left, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mute all of, uh, or I'm not gonna reinforce all the garage walls. Luckily, one of my teammates will. I'm gonna put this on this side so they can't shoot it from the server window. If you put it on the other side, this is visible from server window. They can shoot it from server window, so this side it's not. Just a little more ideal, just a slight, slight bit of I more idealism there. Just maxing, just, just edge maxing all our utility, right? Reinforce this just pretty standard a lot of people reinforce these walls Which I don't hate but I don't love I'm gonna sit over here just in case someone comes in without droning Which is a free kill just shock them in the face Some people rush this some people try to crouch walk in you can't crouch walk in against a shotgun You will die in one pump especially at this range so someone comes flying in over here. They're dead just the other day, I was sitting here, guy marred in the window, shotgun in the chest. You know what he does? Oh, Types in the chat. Why are you there? Because uh, the I'm that fucking guy, dude. What do you What do you mean? I'll be on the balcony. Unfortunate. Man. Sounds like they're coming master or consigned. They're coming consigned a little bit. They open up the outer conlock. Play this with the pump. Same thing. They swing in. They're dead. Just have to be careful, but. Every single person on site is really scary, but we should be fine. We should be fine. I'm in a mute chamber, so even if I get demos tracked, it's not gonna work. So I'm not gonna get like floor banged or anything. 
And they don't have main breach, which allows us to really play fluidly in here. Opening main wall is very, very important for this take, for the con take, because then you're not able to sit in this area. Close it right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You got down, brother. Careful, con. They might get aggressive while this guy's down. He's on the roof. I'm just gonna play passive. I'm just gonna sit in this corner. I can even hop on cams. My team's got the site locked down. I don't want to They're actually my teammates are actually clapping people too, which is nice. Getting well They're getting main wall. All right, so there goes my position, right? The main wall's open. I can't sit there anymore. You can see how that pressure helps our team. Swinging off this guy. Oh, wow, one HP. You know what's crazy is if they didn't nerf laser sights, or if they didn't change laser sights, that guy is dead because the laser sight used to tighten the spread, even while ADS, so that guy would actually would have got one shot on the old patch. Interesting fun fact. I hope they bring back an attachment that uh, works how the uh, laser sight used to, like a, like a choke or something. I think that's I think that's what it is, a choke. Something that tightens the spread yet again. Or even like a different laser sight, like a blue laser sight that tightens the spread. Someone left that coming out. I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. You know, there's a different colored laser sight, then you know what they have. Okay, we're, uh, we are throwing. Yeah, Cade's outside, so you're gonna wanna be one, dog. That's right, that's right. Master Endo. Okay, good work, team. Wasn't even close, wasn't even close, boys. Good shit. <laughs> Love to see the boys just throwing all the bodies at them. <laughs> all right, three to one. Solid defense, you know. That was we land, we won by a landslide essentially. That guy can bait, and we can run at him. Uh, those kills, you gotta also understand. Like, if you're that last guy alive, if you're that thermite, and you're just sitting there hoping they all run at you. I know this isn't technically what happened, but if you're sitting there hoping they push you in that four v one, you're relying on them to make really bad decisions. And that's how you're winning that 4v1. Whereas if you can make the play to break out in the site and pick some people off, you're actively deciding to make the play to win the round. You're actively winning the round. You aren't hoping you win the round. You are winning the round. You're, you're, you're taking action to win the round. And if you're not taking the action, you're relying on them doing really dumb stuff like our team just did in order to win. So if the Thermite wins that, it's not because the Thermite did good, it's because our team did bad. But let's say the Thermite pushed in the site, threw a flashbang red, smoked one on site, killed the killed the guy on red, planted the bomb, won the 1v2. That's the Thermite making a really big play and actively winning the round, which won't be necessary. Like it's not even necessary for him to do that most of the time because a lot of people will just throw. But it builds the good habit of being able to make the plays that, that will win you rounds. Um, because if you can do that in a 4v4, where you make that big play, then life is pretty fucking good, dude. Then life is pretty fucking good. And it's going to be a lot easier to do it in a 4v4 than a 4v1 because the attention is spread. And it's it's just good practice overall, I would say. I don't know where to put this Malusi. I'm really sure I'm really fucking struggling with this. All right, we'll put it here. Just contest the breach. Contest gone. It's, it's not ideal. I don't know why. I'm just I'm just busy yapping. Um, I probably should have put. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice. I do have one main. I'll put one for logistics. Now this is nice because when they drop, they have to look backwards to shoot it or they or walk out of it. So they are slowed. You definitely want to make a rotate in here. That way you can. Hold Lodgy. You don't want to give up Lodgy for free. If if you see people reinforcing these walls, you just drop the Lodgy hatch. You just drop it, take this control. You can put so much pressure on site from here, um, which is why you want to hold it and also be able to hold con because holding con is much easier when you have, well, it's 10 times easier, twice as easy, I guess. Way easier when you have Lodgy control. Now, I don't love these footholds because they don't actually achieve a lot. Like, I guess they're okay if you're backed up, but like you're almost, like this is actually worse for us because they can kill us from con window and we can't watch it. So I think it's more of a we're holding con, we're not letting them get con control type of deal, but I'm gonna I'm gonna chill. I mean they're on the breach, I might hold a pixel or something. Right, get rid of the info and move. Info move, they're not ready for me here now. What the f Never mind, they're ready for me here now. Um I actually didn't even see this guy. <laughs> he was ready. He was ready the whole time. I was thinking they were up on the breach, it just sounded like they were. Wait, wait, I was misinformed and confused. Rough. Okay, All Duncan friendly. Dick dicked us down on the Blackbeard. Those are three of his four kills. So clearly this guy's a Blackbeard main. Noted. Taking that into the inbox for next round. Adjusting, compromising, winning the game right here. Lo let's lock it out, boys. Let's lock it out. You know what Blackbeard mains are really bad at? Dying. Okay. 
And how are we going to kill the Blackbeard main? Well, we could peek him with a super high fire rate of gun, rate of fire gun, like Doc P90. Could play Capcan because he's probably not going to drone because he's playing Blackbeard and he's really dumb. We could shotgun him right in the fucking chest. But there is the chance that we shotgun him in the shield and he doesn't die. I like the Capcan idea. I do like the mute idea. Plus the SMG does have a high rate of fire. Let's do a little bit of a mute roam here. We're going to hold um, strip side. I may have done this in one of my most more recent videos as well. Or maybe on the game channel. But uh, there's a nice little mute roam where you can hold lot like uh, strip side. And if they don't drone it, they're dead. If they do drone it, it's muted. If they try to do be call you, it's muted. You're good. Um, there's a lot of a lot of nice things you do here. And also you can go play main stairs afterwards with the shotgun. There's just a lot of like little rotates you can pull off where they keep getting you keep getting new misinformation for them. They drone you. The second they drone you, you're somewhere else. All of a sudden you're somewhere else, and it's even harder to drone you because there's more mute jammers. So mute's just he's he's just fantastic for for destroying info and being able to play those close range pump angles. I love pumping the enemies. I love to pump. Now, I'm going to do one on this drone hole. You don't have to do these. Like, the mute jammers are, they're okay. The only one that really matters is this one right here. This stops them from being drone up the hallway. Now, I did this with Mozzie for sure recently. I'm going to open the hatches, add pressure from the top. That way, they might be wary of somebody coming from top and flanking that. They have to be a little scared, even if we have no one up there. Now, we'll just wait. They come through ship, free shotgun kill. I think I hear one. I do hear one. And there we go. No drone. No alive for you, boy. Now, I do have to be ca careful of chain repel. And also of stage a little bit. Because they could come through blue on me. Zofia in stock. Down them. Wow, Duncan Dick charging through bar. Unfortunate. One's dropping oil. It's Finca. I down Zofia. She's going to be 20 health. Oh, they have a Finca though. Well, I got myself stuck. Probably should have stayed strip side, honestly. I thought I could get out blue. I probably should have been more aggressive on that Zofia to pick her sooner so I could get back to site because I got pinched, right? I was just hoping they wouldn't charge me down from behind, but they did charge me down from behind, and n none other than Duncan Dick on the Blackbeard. Oh, I walked up main hall. Walked up main hall. Fuck! I should have got on camps. What am I doing? I'm yapping. I'm too busy yapping. Getting on the camps, like getting that pick on Blackbeard, could have been huge. Right? It takes a lot of pressure off the back. What is this alibi setup? Oh my god, insane. Okay, overtime defense. We won CC pretty pretty flawlessly. They are definitely bringing that Blackbeard again. Which is fine. Like, I'm not worried about Blackbeard because he's pretty easy to beat in a gunfight. I just have to actually be shooting at him. Like, so far he's just shot me in the face without me seeing him. Shot me in the back. It's, it's all good. It's all good. I'm not, I'm not even concerned about it. I think Legion might be good in case they bring out the Monty here. But Frost is also really good on this site. Frost is really good on this site. I'll show you a sick, I'll show you a sick Frost strategy on here. This is one for the books, okay? Now, on, um, Protect the bomb. in, like, gold and stuff, you know, the lower ranks where people are constantly aware of traps, Swapping playing down. traps is, like, like especially Capcan and stuff, a lot of people are ready for it. But I think this setup would still work pretty well. A lot of people get tunneled in, in these specific areas, like right here, especially if they come up with a Monty, they're looking rafters, or they're looking at into sight. It just works against players that are uh, very aware of what's going on around them, and they're, they're focused on a lot of things at once. Some people are just right in the moment, right where they are, looking at the ground, not even not even ADS at like where potential threats could be. So that's the case where Frost is not ideal. Like They'd be walking up red, and they'd just be like, huh. And they'd be like, oh, and then they'll shoot it. But like a regular solid player is going to walk up ADS, Maybe be like shooting like this, and then they're just gonna walk straight into that mat. Which is why I think Frost is actually um, stronger at the highest ranks than she is in like the middle tier ranks. And same with Capcan as well. Like a lot of people are just like, oh, Capcan, like everybody shoots Capcan traps. It's like, yeah, because they're focused on the Capcan traps and not focused on like potential threats as much as like you would see in like the higher ranks. All right, we'll open some holes, server window. They're nading me, They got your Kate off the left side. 
Oh, this is a common repel right here. Close server window. I don't want to get too aggressive. Careful of the breach rush. They got an Osa shield on main wall. We don't have any impacts or anything, which really sucks. Osa, Osa is, is just so lethal when you have no impacts. Because you just cannot do anything about those shields. Where's he at, Mozzie? I'm going to help this Mozzie, the Blackbeard's over here. Sounded like he was over here. Where's that Blackbeard at? Okay, my teammates are... Oh, I have them all muted. I forgot I muted them all. I was talking about something. Nice, okay. 5v2, huge. Another solid defense on here. I don't know how our team is, like, plowing everyone. Nice try, buddy. Surprised me there, but... Good work by the boys. Good work by the boys getting some picks. I mean... It doesn't seem like I'm doing a lot, but I'm I'm seven and four, you know. Like I had that one big zero round. That's about it. Besides that, just trying to stay consistent, just trying to help out where I can. Um, not doing anything super super good. Like I'm playing fine, I would say. This is like a fine performance. I just happen to have seven kills, right? Now they are. I don't know actually where they will go, but it doesn't matter because we're on zero, right? Forgot almost. I'll try to get some use of this Gone 6 here as well. Hard breach tools on CC were good. We could try a different CC hard breaching strat if they go CCTV where we go and get the con single wall so we can put some pressure con side. Uh, we could even Gone 6 the Logi hatch to add pressure to Logi side, potentially go through there later. In terms of the zero cams though, I just don't know where to put them. I think that's another personal big struggle of mine is like, I don't know where to put the cams that they're useful, don't get shot, and like not even useful but impactful where they impact the round. Uh, besides flanks and flanks is like I can just put a drone on the flank man I could just if I want to I can put a drone on the flank um, And if you're very concerned about being flanked, and that's why you're picking zero Then maybe you maybe you should uh Maybe you should pick your drone up and spawn and throw it on the flank, you know or pick a pick a nomad where you don't have to actively watch those cams I don't know guys. I need all the help I can get when it comes to zero even though I'm getting kills, Bro. I just, I just, I'm, 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 I feel like I could be doing a lot more. Does that make sense? Now, I still want to open con single here on gym. Adds a lot of pressure to construction. Open the con single wall is absolutely massive, especially if there's no wall denial. Like, it's just, it's just free, free pressure. Um, there's no reason not to. Same with logic hatch. Opening logic hatch, you've got to open logic hatch. Pressuring logic, pressuring construction, pressuring main breach, pressuring windows. Just complete the trifecta, the quadfecta of pressure. That's the way to do it. Because then they have so many areas they have to watch and they don't have enough resources designated to everything. Thermite's getting this wall, so I sh don't really need to worry about it. Uh, looks like they have something on it. I am gonna just, I'm gonna use my gun six for this. I think that's important. For us, it's right down now I could try to just shoot zero cam in here. Might just get shot, but if no one's in there. Oh, there's a guy there. What do you know? <laughs> hey, castle. Wait, he didn't shoot it. Why didn't he shoot it? He was worried about me dropping off it, I guess. So dropping this is not going to be easy for me since I don't have a utility for it. But I will try to shoot another zero cam in here. Okay, never mind. It's not going to work. Maybe I can get the uh, stuff off this with the zero cam. And his castle. Okay, he's going on six. Watch out for us right Okay, we got some slurs in the chat. I have to try to take some space here. We're good. Argus in place. Leave a flank drone. Swapping mags. That smoke grenade's helping me out a lot. This gun is fucking great, though. See, at Argus this point, I, there's no point in me even going around. Shot the is on drone. Don't drone. Thanks, boss. I have a zero flank cam if you guys want to watch it. Can you join Logi, Glass? Again, don't have the utility push here. If they have a Solus. Gonna have to, gonna have to, gonna have to raw dog yeah, it. I, I mean, you can do it from Khan as well. Frost is wow. I was not expecting him so. Right there, damn. When he pinged right under the thing, I thought he meant a frost mat when he said frost is close. Cash, cash, dude. We have 
been eliminated. Four four. We got defense. We're we're chilling. We got when the defense. We're good, boys. Okay. When y'all say uh, red or main stairs, I'm not thinking metal stairs. I'm thinking of the red stairs. It all comes down to this. You. Overtime match point, baby. Overtime match point. Let's get active. Let's get active. We gotta win this. We gotta close this out. Um, we could do church, but we kind of gotta stay up. Like this guy's. They're just sitting outside. Do you guys want to go on a bunker? I feel like they're just sitting outside. Maybe that'll work. Like, maybe that's enough for them to agree. This Blackbeard came down main and walked up main hall last time. So I think these cap cans should be just like a complete counter to him. Uh, I'm really hoping our teammates make the rotates. I could, uh, oh yeah, she, cap can doesn't have impacts anymore. So used to C4. Bottom main. Bottom main's where the cap cans got to go to take out the Blackbeard. I don't think they droned it. I don't think they would be ready for it. And I think they're going to hit them just because of the way he pushed up the hallway with so much confidence. This Blackbeard is just walking around. He's just walking around, not worried about a thing. So this should be a good a good counter. I'm going to do two here because if they if they walk through that, they'll go down. I don't think our teammate's really calling anything anyway. I remember why I muted them now. Saying N-words, saying F-words. Being annoying. Way she goes. Nothing you can do about that. Now, one did come oil as well. This is where I'm going to triple down the traps. I want to do the barricade trick. You guys have probably seen it. You put the barricade, you rip it down. Let's just get a side-by-side -side example here. This is without the barricade, right? Do this. Barricade her up. Rip her down because you're fucking jacked. Boom. Little nubs. Little nubs that cover the cap cans. Very slight edge maxing. Again, edge maxing. Edge maxing as much as we can. My teammates made the holes, which is perfect. This is a beautiful setup. Great work, teammate, for making this beautiful setup possible. So we can watch Secret from here. Uh, usually I like them a little higher so I can still have cover behind the desk, but it's whatever. We'll chill here. We have the cap cans bottom main. Really, it's just Dirt Kitchen that's weak uh, from my perspective right now, right? Uh, I've got blue covered by oil and by this. We've got main covered from the cap cans. Unless they shoot them, we'll get the info. The hatches are closed. Dirt and kitchen is the only thing I'm not covering personally. And all my teammates are off site, which is really bad. But I'm going to hope my cap cans come clutch if they all die. So I'm going to hope my teammates can put some work in. And if they can't and they die, we're going to have to rely on the traps. All right. Great work, teammate. That's one. That's two. Nice. Very nice. One's main stairs. One, no, one's in bar. This guy's in bar. You can make a punch hole in stock and kill this guy. He's on the pool table. This drone dude is on the bridge. Nice, very nice. Good teamwork. I'm going to hold blue just in case one tries to sneak down. Hitting the site right now is a very effective strategy for the other team because we have a couple roamers. It's a two-on-two -on, -two on site. If the two of them hit the site together right now, they would stand a chance, especially if we're not ready, like if I'm on cam still or whatever. So if you're on the other team right now, hitting the site, the second the second you lose everyone is like a great, like with no info, just fucking send it because you know that there's a bunch of people off site. Uh, there could be a third off site for all they know. So just committing to that, that site hit is... Um, it's kind of like a do or die situation, right? It's like 4v2, it's really hard to lose this. They're playing hella aggressive. But if we take a site and plant the bomb, we could win. We could win because the teamwork, the aggressive the aggressive teamwork together is clearly, clearly messing them up now. This is clearly a GG. Uh, I'm not going to throw. C4 is my teammate. Um, great work. Solid game, solid game. Hope you guys learned something. Uh, again, Let's hear about your zero thoughts in the comments. Thank you, boys, for watching. Go watch part one if you haven't already on my main channel. Had some fantastic gameplay on Bank. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace.